This is the $25 Techstar SGC598. This is the $250 Audio-Technica AT8024. Now this is a 10x difference. What do you get for paying 10x the price? Both of these uses a single AA battery, which is a little bit cheaper than buying 9 volt batteries. Now the Techstar $25 mic is a mono mic. I opened it up to check it out. They just wired the left and right together. The Audio-Technica is a stereo mic and you can see roughly about 10 dB of stereo separation if you're on one side versus another. Now the frequency response of the Techstar is not as flat as the Audio-Technica although it is pretty close. What you end up having to do is boost the mid and low end in order to get it more flat. Now for me, just because it's mono and because it's slightly heavier, this is the deal breaker for me. So I would rather stay with my Audio-Technica because I already have it. If you're on a tight budget and you do not mind that it's a mono mic and you have to do a little bit of tweaking to get it completely flat, then this one is the way to go. Here is the Techstar. You can see it has the shock mount over here, a foam cover, a low pass filter, plus 10 dB switch on off button. The on off LED is over here in the back. And to access the battery port, you just slide it open like this. And there's a battery compartment. Now comparing it to the Audio-Technica, you can choose between mono and stereo because this is a stereo mic. The Audio-Technica has a minus 10 and minus 20 dB, so it does not have a plus 10 dB boost. It also has a low pass filter. The foam cover, you can just slip off like this. The battery is open by pushing this little button over here, and you can't really dig it out with your finger. You gotta push it out with this little hole, and you can take out your battery. Put it back in. I've actually used this mic for over a year, so it's pretty beat up. And I did a little modification with a piece of Velcro so I can see that it's on from the side. The bottom has been broken, so I had to glue it back together. It also does come with like a dead cat cover. So you just remove this. This is for better wind breaking, just in case you're in high wind areas. Again, I modified this a little bit so that you can see the controls. I had to cut a hole out in this fuzzy thing. And this is the Audio-Technica one. The shock mounting is accomplished with these little rubber things over here. You can see I can twist it a little bit. You can try to vibrate it a little bit. And that's the extent of its shock mount. How much does this actually weigh? Well, I'm gonna put it on here with the battery. 6.67 ounces. The Audio-Technica, put it on here. 4.87. This is a difference of 1.8 ounces, which is roughly 33% heavier. Now the difference between this little dead cat thing shouldn't be too much, 0.67 ounces, 0.14. So this little fuzzy thing will add about half an ounce or so. This is the Audio-Technica 8024. The Audio-Technica is a stereo mic. You can hear slight differences if I'm all the way on the left. I'm on the left, I'm on the right. This is testing the Techstar stereo separation. We already know that it's a mono mic, but I'm gonna test it anyway to prove it to you. This is on your right, this is on your left. So you should hear that there's no difference. It is a mono mic. Now what I want you to listen to is the difference in frequency response. Keep in mind that when I'm doing these recordings, I've set the audio level to a fixed level. There's no automatic gain control here. I'm gonna play a song because it generates more frequencies than my voice could do. I'm gonna play the same song at the same volume level. I've set the gain to my camera to about minus 6 dB. If I turn on the plus 10 dB on this mic, it probably will saturate it. So I'm gonna step it down to minus 12. This is the furthest down it will go. Okay, it is minus 12 dB right now. Testing, 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 testing. Switching over to plus 10 dB. Testing, 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 testing. I'm gonna switch over between zero dB and plus 10 dB. Uh... Okay, now I'm gonna try the low pass filter. 
Hello, low pass filter on, off. Okay, you should be able to hear the difference over there. Okay, so those are the controls of this mic. I think with the Techstars plus 10 dB boost, it could cause a lower noise floor if I set my camera to minus 12 dB. Generally, the audio recording inside the camera is a little bit noisy, so it's advantageous to set the audio gain to as low as possible and let the mic provide as much of the signal as possible. This is the Techstar plus 10 dB after I've boosted the audio by a lot. Now, because the Techstar has a plus 10 dB option, this should have lower noise than my audio tech the audio technica boosted to about the same level. Listen to the background noise. If I boost my audio to the same level as a tech star, the noise should be higher on this audio. Now I'm using a lapel mic because the mic is closer to my mouth. It automatically sounds louder. Technically, if I boost my audio to the same level as the previous two mics, this one should have the least noise level. Now, just for fun, the audio right now is the internal mic of my GH5. I think for me personally, I generally prefer more information than less recorded because if I'm gonna record stuff anyway, if I'm gonna record audio, I prefer to have the stereo in there because then you can have some sort of orientation with whatever that you're recording. You can hear, okay, something is coming from over there or over there. Thanks for watching this comparison. If you guys are interested in either of these mic, I'll leave an affiliate link down in the video description below. Don't forget to give me a like. Let me know if the Techstar mono output is a deal breaker for you. And as always, don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching.